Hello, welcome back to Meta Perfume. I'm Emily here again today with Tweeksy. Hello, Tweeksy. Uh, I'm continuing with my series on green tea. I've been covering the flankers of green tea and the Elizabeth Arden perfumes in my collection. And I've got another installment today of Versus Flankers Green Tea Fig versus Green Tea Pomegranate. So let's get into it. So I'll start with Green Tea Fig. Green Tea Fig is a green, green notes is the main accord in this fragrance. It is marketed to women. Fragrantica says it is for women. However, I would consider this a unisex leaning, slightly masculine fragrance in my opinion. Um, it is complex. It has top notes of fig leaf, tea, ivy, citron, clementine, and bergamot. Middle notes of fig, green tea, violet leaf, pistachio, and tamarind. And base notes of clary sage, musk, and tonka bean. So the issue that I had, if you saw my versus um, green tea exotic versus green tea uh, lime, what's the note lime? Lychee, lychee lime, sorry. <laughs> um, green tea, lychee lime. And I, I mentioned that there's like a sometimes an earthy smell that accompanies lime in fragrances or in certain lime fragrances that I described as like stale dirt. Now, that sort of smell is also present to my nose in this green tea fig. And, and maybe it's a component of the green notes. I mean, there are a lot of unusual notes in this fragrance, like fig leaf, green, you know, earthy probably, tea, ivy, never seen a fragrance with ivy in it. Um, I think citron is a pretty rare note to find. Um, the tamarind, tamarind might be a problem for me because I feel like that was also in the green tea lychee lime or one of the other fragrances that I had some issue with and I wasn't sure what the note was. So now it smells pretty good for a minute on my skin after I spray it on. But the dry down, which comes, you know, about an hour after I put it on, maybe 45 minutes, um, the, the top starts to evaporate away. And that stale dirt, <laughs> no, <laughs> what I would describe, um, comes through. It's, it's kind of a, like, masculine, like, it, to me, it's like somebody was working in a garden and they have dirt on them and they smell really earthy and the you know the fig kind of to my nose is overpowered by that and I like certain fig fragrances I really like fig tea by um, Nikolai perfumes and I can kind of smell the fig in this but there's so much going on it's a very complex fragrance that it it's not quite prominent enough for my no my taste and is overpowered in terms of how much I like the fragrance by these other more earthy notes. So um, I would recommend this, you know, if you like fig, I've seen other reviewers who enjoy this fragrance. And it's actually I mean, interesting in the first half hour, maybe after I, but in even in the cap, like just smelling it out of the bottle, I can still smell that, that earthy component that is not really to my taste. So I would not, um, would not make this the winner <laughs> and I will move on <laughs> the winner of these two I would say is the green tea pomegranate for me and that gets slightly higher ratings on Fragrantica as well I think the green tea fig um, gives like a 3.66 and this one gets like a 3.73 um, despite kind of some major drawbacks with this and that is that this is the one of the worst performing green tea flankers in the set of green tea flankers. Uh, yeah, it's just slightly better than a body spray. But that's you know balanced by the fact that it smells really lovely, like when you first spray it. So you get about 
45 minutes to an hour maybe um, of a really lovely pomegranate fragrance, pomegranate green tea. So the notes are pomegranate on top, pomegranate, passion fruit, tangelo, and bergamot. Middle notes of Earl Grey tea, which I think is just black tea with bergamot uh, at its core. <laughs> Violet leaves, white magnolia, which is, I think, a nice floral note. And Divana. And sometimes I have issues with Divana, but I don't really notice it in this. I think it's a pretty um, small component of the scent. And then the base is Raspberry Bloom, which is another unique note. I don't think I've seen that particular component of a raspberry plant in the fragrance. Mate, musk, and moss. <laughs> so another pretty complex fragrance here. Definitely a super fruity, pomegranate opening. I think it smells like pretty true to pomegranate, you know, and it, it's complemented well by the passion fruit and the tangelo and the little touch of bergamot. No issue with that. It, it is, it is very nice. I mean, it's a delicious smelling. It's like you're spraying yourself with some yummy fresh fruit. Um, and the tea complements it nicely. Oh, I'm just gonna spray some more. You can see I have used about that much of it compared to oh, not even below the cap line yet on this one. So obviously my preference, the clear winner for me is the green tea pomegranate. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, this summery, light, poor longevity, pretty, pretty bad. Like you're going to spray this on yourself many times if you want to be wearing this for the course of a day. You probably have to respray it like every 90 to 120 minutes, every hour and a half to two hours just to keep the fragrance on you. I think the dry down is just, it's just not substantial enough. And when it dries down, it just becomes a super, super faint um, tea scent without the fruity component in it. Um, and it, to my nose, is just gone very soon. So while green tea fig has slightly better longevity i'd say this one lasts like four to five hours on the skin i am not a fan of the way it smells in the dry down so that's not really a huge plus for me um this one you know i'm, I'm definitely gonna work through this or i might keep it to my my niece <laughs> i'm not sure because <laughs> um, i think she would like it too and I, I, if I give fragrances to children, I generally tend to try to give them fragrances that have low longevity, just in case, you know, they go a little crazy with it and then it's not overpowering for other people. Um, yeah, but it smells really good. So that's it. In the, the verses head to head between green tea fig, green tea pomegranate, green tea pomegranate is the clear winner. Um, I also, so after I finish, I've got maybe two more of these I need to do because of all the flankers that are coming up. Um, but I did buy two more Elizabeth Arden fragrances. So I will after the green tea, which was I thought would be my final bit of the Elizabeth Arden series. I'm actually going to do a singular review for Arden Beauty and um, Fifth Avenue flanker called Fifth Avenue NYC Live that I bought because they were very inexpensive on FragranceNet and the notes of um, the NYC Live really intrigued me. And I also had a request to review Art and Beauty and have heard good things in other reviewers, um, fragrance reviewers channels. So yeah, I will continue. Thank you for, for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye-bye.